Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at trimming within 1CNC XR5. Alright, so I'm going to zoom in right here. There's lots of trim tools within 1CNC, and they can be found right over here within the main toolbar, right here where it says Trim Break. So as soon as I left click that, here's the submenu for trimming. You can see there's lots of options here. Now what I'm going to demonstrate in this video are probably the two most popular trim commands. Those are the Trim 2 and the Scissors command. Okay, first let's take a look at Trim 2. Now when you select Trim 2, 1CNC wants you to digitize two entities. But the key to successfully using Trim 2 is always remember to digitize what you want to keep. So in this example right here, let's say I want to keep, oh, let's say this corner right here. You can see where my mouse is moving. So if I want to keep that corner, I want to digitize what I want to keep. I want to keep that portion of that line and that portion of that line. And then 1CNC performs the trim. Let's do the same thing right here. Let's say I want to keep this corner. All right, so the key is always digitizing what you want to keep. I want to keep this portion of the line and that portion of that line. Very, very simple. Let's expand on that down here on this shape here. So again, using Trim 2 and realizing that we want to digitize what we want to keep, I'm going to left click here and left click. Left click and left click, left click, left click, always selecting the geometry that I want to keep. All right, now, what if you make a mistake? I'm going to undo this a couple times. I'm just hitting Control Z, like Control Zebra on the keyboard. That's like hitting the undo button up here. I want to show you uh, what to do if you make a mistake. All right, so I'm in the Trim 2 command, and we're rolling along here. I'm digitizing what I want to keep. And as I come along here, if I make a mistake, if I do something like this, you can certainly hit the undo button and go backwards, but there's really no need to do that. If you want to, just stay within the command and just carry on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, hey, I want to take that line and I want to trim it to that one there. And then I'll grab there and there. So it's really simple to keep on going. All right, so that's the Trim 2 command. Always digitize what you want to keep and you're always digitizing two entities. Now let's take a look at the Scissors command. Scissors command works different. Again, I'm going to undo this. Let's bring back our original geometry here. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Again, I'm just hitting Control Z, like Control Zebra on the keyboard to undo. Let's take a look at scissors. Now scissors works differently in that you digitize what you want to get rid of. Let's work on the same shape down here. Okay, so knowing that scissors, you have to digitize what you want to get rid of, I'm now going to digitize up here. So I'm going to left click and left click. I'm always selecting what I want to get rid of. Okay, we'll do the same for these shapes here. Let's say I want to get rid of this portion of the line right here inside the circle. I'm just going to left click inside the circle on that line and the scissors command gets rid of that. So the key to successfully using the scissors command, always digitize what you want to get rid of. All right, now let's take a closer look at trimming circles, not arcs, but 360 degree circles. Most circles created in most CAD systems uh, start at 3 o'clock. Circles are created counterclockwise and typically terminate at 3 o'clock as well, as well. So for each uh, circle you see, there's going to be a gap. I call it a zero gap. There's no thickness for the gap, but you're going to have a gap here at 3 o'clock. All right, that's standard for most circles, 360 degree circles. So let's demonstrate that. If I were to come over here and go into our Trim 2 command, let's say I want to trim this so that we end up with this outside circle right here. So I'm going to digitize that portion of the line I want to keep. I'm going to grab that circle and sure, sure enough you can see there's that that gap. The circle stops there. So that's normal. All you do is just carry on. I want to grab that circle there, come down low on the line and digitize and 1CNC will make the trim. Same thing happens over here. Remember there's a gap here at 3 o'clock. So when I digitize let's say uh, this line, I want to keep that line, I want to keep this portion of the circle, you can see sure enough there's that gap then at 3 o'clock. And the idea here is just carry on, just keep on trimming and away you go. Same for this big arc right here. Uh, before I trim this arc, I'll probably use our scissors command and get rid of that line right there. Okay, let's go back into trim 2. I'm going to keep that line and this portion of the big arc and sure enough you can see there's the gap. And the key here is just to, is just to carry on. Okay, so when working with circles, 360 degree circles, just remember there's going to be a gap and the idea is just be aware of that and then just keep moving on. Alright, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.